Welcome to virtual meditation with Shiloh. Uh, hello? Today I, oh. we're working on forgiving ourselves for not knowing the difference between upload and download speeds before getting cable internet. <laughs> That's oddly specific. Repeat after me. I am not my cable internet. Wait, um, I, I, I don't have cable. I'm not a bad... It's my video calls more like video stalls. Uh, hey Shiloh, there's something... I will get AT&T fiber. <laughs> And I will switch classes until you do. Slow upload speeds? You're not a bad person. You just need better internet. With 20 times faster upload speeds, AT&T Fiber delivers a faster internet experience than cable. Get AT&T Fiber with no annual contract. Limited availability in select areas. Call 1-877-ONLY-ATT. Check eligibility at att.com slash get fiber. Based on combined internet 1000 wired up and download capacity versus major cable providers. One gig service with uploads of 35 megabits per second. Speeds vary, not guaranteed. Restricted supply. Once upon a time in a convenience store, a woman asked, which zero-calorie drink will I like more? The cashier said, I have a thought, Coke Zero Sugar always hits the spot. The taste made her heart fill with laughter, and with her Coke Zero Sugar, she lived happily ever after. Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, unbelievably delicious. No trip to the store is complete without the unbelievably delicious zero-calorie taste of Coke Zero Sugar. Thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net. Hey, what's going on? What are you guys up to? Oh, little weed, you know. It's the Weedsman Podcast Nugget. Zippity what? Ready to drop the bass? Let's drop the bass. whoop de doo What does it all mean? All the random stuff that didn't fit in Friday's show you'll find here. Oh. Okay. Hey, man. You got a joint? Got a little bit of refry smell on your voice? What that mean? Please give me, just give me my weed, all right? Get anything new? Anything exciting? I did. Anything worthwhile? The first week of the of the month, man, these headphones make noise constantly. Like they rub against my glasses. Oh yeah, they just go brr, 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 brr. <laughs> like constantly <laughs> in my ears. <laughs> brr, 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 brr. I know I'm not doing it right. That's a great sound, though. So, yeah, first week of the year is the biggest week lately. It seems like all my, most of them, half of the comics that I buy of the month come out on the first week. Mm-hmm. Ah. Currently, we have the Captain America, renumbered number 697, fastly approaching Who number the fuck is that? Is that the comedian? That's Craven the Hunter. Craven. Yes. Uh, Craven. Craven, known... Uh, the guy who killed uh, Spider-Man when he was in the black suit. And, or was he in the black suit then? He killed and, and buried Spider-Man. Damn. There's a very, like, the, the original, no, it's not the original appearance of Craven, I believe. It is the best appearance when he decides to kill Spider-Man. This also is featuring, uh, where is Wolverine? Where is Wolverine? Oh, nice. The uh, Wolverine's back, the original flavor, original Coke. Oh, brown and Classic. yellow. Classic. Wolvery, Wolvey classic. Um, I don't know what suit they're going to have him in, but they, they've they showed him, but not in suit yet. Oh, sure. I like the mustard, brown this mustard. Is, I like this is the one it. with all the keef in it? It is. After yeah. we all just smoked the fatty. Give me the brown mustard suit, Aaron. That's why I call that suit. The one that was brown and yellow. Had panels. That'd be a second generation suit. I did like the yellow and blue yeah. with the black slices on the side. That's sides. the original, yeah. I, I don't know if I have a favorite between those two, but this one, so Wolverine has popped up in the pages of the legacy comic book that was going to set the tone for the new Marvel Universe reset that they're going to do. And he hasn't shown up anywhere yet. This is his first appearance. Oh, okay. Where's Wolverine? They're going to so. Kind of looks old school. I'm just going to spoil it. Like, I'm going right to the back here. Yeah, there's one page, and he's at a bar. He says, hey, bub. <laughs> To the bartender. Hey, bub. Hoping to catch up with a friend of mine. Tall, beefy, blonde guy. Mm. Seen him around. Sorry, friend. <laughs> Can't say as I have. Nobody like that came in here today. No great surprise there. Rogers is always getting himself waylaid. I'll just have to waylaid, eat up. Like, is this a Waylaid a lot? Waylaid. Like, yeah. waylaid. Is this, yes. I'll just have to meet up with him some other time. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that is it. There's there's your Wolverine appearance. Nice. He's not in costume. He's not wearing, fighting. And he's getting waylaid. <laughs> and he's no way tapas. I don't know if he is. So he's eating tapas. The cap's getting laid. Oh, nice. Cap's getting laid. 
But he's not in the costume, though. Yeah, he's just chilling with, like, is he got, he's like, got the classic hat, the cowboy hat? The cowboy mm-hmm. hat, yep. jacket, looks yep. like a T-shirt, big belt buckle. Yeah, shit that he can just, you know, if it gets bloody, he can throw it away easily. <laughs> he's the DL Wolvie. The DL. He's on the DL. He's just doing some recruiting. What's next? Astonishing X-Men. This is the best X-Men book that is on the market right now. Astonishing X-Men has... What do I have to do to get you into this X-Men comic today? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Notice who's on the cover there? Our Lord Somebody who Professor hasn't been X. in the Marvel comics in a little while, Professor X. Yeah, that's crazy. I haven't seen him in a minute. His consciousness survived, it turns out, and he took over Phantom X, which is like this uh, is a Grant Morrison creation, this weird Phantom mix. X. Sounds we crazy. also got to see Phantom X's face for the first time ever. He's been like the Cobra Commander <laughs> of the Marvel, or, or who was it that they really teased the face on? Like they never showed, they never show Snake Eyes' face. They never showed Snake no. Eyes' face. He's always had that like night-looking face mask. What else? Iron Fist has been pretty good, better than the TV series. Mm. Really, just classic martial arts type of beat 'em up shit, but, but done really well. Oh, all right. Walking Dead, some New World Order that I'm going to see. This is part one of. Oh, shit. Who knows? Somebody survived? Somebody was talking to somebody else from somewhere else in an unknown community, and their whole world's about to blow up. Shit. Something that they're doing in the, in the uh, TV series, too, I think. Nice. Crosswinds, soon to be a... I don't know if they're making it a movie or a TV show. Okay. It's a kind of classic body swap thing, like... A hitman and a housewife switch minds and then have to deal with the... Kind of like Freaky Friday? Yeah. It's, totally oh, okay. freak, it's Freaky Friday. Okay. But with, like... A death, killer. And killer, yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Rogue and Gambit, everybody's favorite ex-couple, have their first ever mini-series. I like the lettering. The lettering. The On the top, nice, the yeah. Rogue and Gambit. I'm not a huge fan of the cover i mean it's all right it's very stylized the white, a little too, too much stretchy white. everybody looks like they're mr fantastic yeah what's up with rogue's arm being super long yeah i mean it's they're foreshortening they're just exaggerating a bit much dust stroke has been as hot as ever this book is it continues to be great and enthralling and the man who's writing that is also doing a justice league book that's in here as well right there at the uh oh superman yeah, this is uh, basically the story in this Justice You're League. Punch Trump in the face. Is that, that what that's Batman's leading up the Justice League? He can't do everything at once. Somebody dies. He feels responsible. It gets out on social media, and the world starts going. Yeah, I think it's going to be more than just like, what about these vigilantes anyway? Mm-hmm. You know, story. But but we'll see. Koshi the Deathless. Some Hellboy spinoff. Black Bolt has been really good. Oh, nice. I love the artist. I love the writer. He's fighting Cap. Shadow Batman, another mini series of the two of them together. I, it works really well for me. Those two characters, even though they, there's a lot of crossover on the Shadow Batman Venn diagram, you know, it's almost a circle. <laughs> oh, okay. Just one, has, one circle has pointy ears, the other one has a hat with a scarf. Okay. They're kind of the same thing. Yeah, you're, yeah I'd just give you that. New Batman. Olivier Coipel cover of Batman and not looking hot on a motorcycle. Yeah, just kind of. Kind of late. Yeah, he's totally. Like, what up? I'm just <laughs> hanging is, out here. He's got his shoulders low. Like, he's not. Like, he'd be out in, outside of a nightclub trying to pick up drunk chicks. <laughs> he's totally like, what up? You ever tried to this fuck Batman like before? Justin Bieber bought a wanna? Batman <laughs> outfit. <laughs> and then, and then, hey, you ever want to try to fuck Batman? And then sat outside yeah, the club. Tonight, like, like, so yeah, yeah, I'm looking for you. We'll go in this alley. <laughs> I call him my bat cock. Yeah. Bat condom. <laughs> Paper Girls. Uh, crazy time traveling adventure. Yeah. That is a great artist and writer combo with Brian K. Vaughan and Cliff Chang. But the piece de la resistance. Oh, shit. What do you got? Last but not least, the one that I am most looking forward to. Exit stage left, or the Snagglepuss Chronicles. <laughs> the Snagglepuss. What? Wow. <laughs> Snagglepuss. There he is on the cover doing it. He's looking okay. like statu- he's the Statue of Liberty, but he's holding up a, a martini. That's weird. And he's got a cigarette. <laughs> hey! Oh, that's come a, on That's now. a pretty big cigarette. Come that might be a blunt now. in the cigarette Amen. holder. It's interesting. I bet you those lapels are velvet. It's hard to tell from here. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get a real feel for it.
This is DC's had a lot of crazy success with their uh, their Hanna Barbera reboots, and I know that I've chewed your ear off about how great the Flintstones comic is. Um, this is by the same writer, so I'm expecting it to be just as brilliant. This just looks weird. It's, what? He's this a, is a big cat. He's a southern dandy. <laughs> like I can see about. He's playing him straight up as like, a southern I dandy. Can get the. F- I can get behind. The <laughs> I Flintstone. say good day to you, sir. I can get behind the Flintstones one because in the end they were still humans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like this is like trying to make it like realistic that a cat walked and talked and was well, super gay. There's like other. I think that might be no, Huckleberry no, Hound there. Well, yeah, that's uh, what I'm saying. Know. Like, but if you this, notice, there's is this for furries. There's is this is this something for furries? There's to furries and there's read and masturbate to smooth skinned people in this comic. Furries. There's both. They're not all animal. <laughs> <laughs> They're not furries! all animals. Some of them are still human. I don't know. I haven't read it yet, so I'll let you know. Like I said, you know, a Flintstones comic that's supposed to be super serious, and I'm like, how is that going to work? Well, it did. It yeah. really did. So Barney and Fred had a tender moment in the. Did they? Did they have? So I didn't. Did they have horrible rock-based metaphors for everything, like in the cartoon? Um. Hey, well, there hey, were still hey. plenty of those jokes. Yes, but I mean. They went more in depth with everything. Like there was a full on love affair between the bowling ball and the vacuum cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, what the hell? No. That's all they they didn't have names, you know, the animals that helped them do shit. So like the the little armadillo guy that was would roll up into a bowling ball and then the I don't know what it, I can't remember what it was, but some sort of like bird or something that vacuumed up. Hmm. The elephants that wash the dishes. Right. See, Bean knows what I'm talking yeah, about. They would crazy. have slave animals that they would have for like stand-in. Yeah, right, yeah, and but they would crazy. they would have smart ass things to say after that. But they have full on conversations and like rock lives. Rock. Yo, yes, ding ding. Lois? That was wonderful rock sex we had last night. <laughs> rock, rock sex. sex. <laughs> yes, I enjoyed rocking you up the rock last night. What? I know. I'm glad you wore that rock ring. But we still always that use a rock galactic. I'm riveted for your pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hey, Brian. No. Want to get the rock out of here? Rock ya. Yeah. Rock ya. Yeah. <laughs> Christos. This guy may look harmless on the outside, but oh, on the man. inside he could be a complete bastard, like Fred Flintstone. So, why exactly do you want this separation? Well, Mr. Stoneberg, in a nutshell, the cat put me outside. I was banging on the door for like 20 minutes shouting, Wilma! I didn't uh, hear you. Oh, there's no way you didn't hear me. <laughs> I was in the shower. Oh, she was in the shower. The elephant's you trunk was on right full on blast. I couldn't hear you. And besides, you're always oh, yelling about something. And the hell am I supposed to know and when to pay to attention? But when I want to get my rugs off, you know where to be yeah. found. <laughs> you passive aggressive. Aggressive bitch. Wow. <laughs> you know that our president is like really smart. Oh boy. So smart. <laughs> he is the, that he's was the smartest tweet. man. He's got the you know, he's got the best words. He knows words. He like literally he's like he has the best things. I'm too. practically a genius. I'm <laughs> like really smart. <laughs> He said, the like is in there, in the tweet. Oh, this is an actual... <laughs> this is his tweet. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. He really wants us to believe us. That's the thing about being called dumb. You can't come back at it with, no, actually, oh, yeah. I'm really smart. Yeah. Like, you just have to hope to prove yourself, prove them wrong with your actions, right? Yeah. Yep, exactly. People who are really smart don't say they're really smart. I'm so smart. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. <laughs> One of the things that's not being talked about as much in the book, that, uh, what is it, the Fire and Ice book? What's the... Oh, Fire and Fury. <laughs> yeah. Fire and Ice. Fire the song ice. of Fire and Ice is that the re- <laughs> Who knows if this, this guy's full of shit or not? But he writes that the reason that Trump eats so much fast food is he's afraid of being poisoned. <laughs> what? Okay. Like, yeah, me, I might be too. <laughs> hey, son. I know, right? For, it's, uh, I mean, I can but think- you're putting a lot of faith in the working class. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah I know, like, right? Right. 
You could be slowly poisoned by hawkers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hawkers. You're putting a lot of faith in some 16 year old dipshit. <laughs> The smartest people at McDonald's. Yeah. How do they? How do they order though? I mean, you know, he doesn't order. Right. I'm sure they like pull a limo up somewhere in the parking lot. Someone gets out, doesn't get some shit. I bet he it's doesn't even go there. He leaves. Yeah. Like. Yeah. He just it has it delivered to him. Probably. We think interns like, does. do. Oh yeah. Like we think actually, interns are for. That was go yeah. the president's lunch. He has like a uh, essentially an Air Force One rider, like yeah. a, a list of requirements. Before Air Force One takes off, that he has to have hot McDonald's. Uh, yeah. like hot McDonald's. It can't be like, oh, we got this for you earlier. He just fucking throws it, it at him. Fresh. His shit's cold. Yeah. <laughs> just throws it out the fucking window of the plane. Yeah. Or the door. So you're not supposed to open the plane. Yeah. Fuck, fuck you. We're you're not right. off the ground. I'm just Mark's man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, isn't it something he has? What does he have? Like. A chocolate shake, two filet of fishes, and two something else's a day. Damn. Dude, man's going to just... You're going to die. Yeah, yeah that's a, that's he a has, tough meal, bro. Yeah, he has like 180th of a heart attack. So how many days does he have left? <laughs> he right. should be dead already. Technically, yes. He's eaten eight, more than 80 of those meals. He has a chicken finger appetizer from KFC. Jesus. Second lunch. Oh, just grease coming Mid-day out of his Midday snack. Pores. He's probably already got a backup heart, like, implanted <laughs> into him. He has two hearts. Yeah. Fuck that. He's got his regular yeah. heart and then a fucking... I got it off know. of a surprisingly healthy homeless man. I was saying, yeah. the name of a good heart guy from Dick Cheney. <laughs> Did you know? Ooh. <laughs> I stole his shopping cart. He was the only one to catch me. I said, this man, this man has a good heart. Kill him. Healthy. <laughs> yeah. Someone Take him. Tag him. <laughs> <laughs> the, the panel van rolls up. Black panel van. Matt Black. Put over the head. Two guys get out to grab the legs and the head. It's rib- and then they just it's grab the rib splitters and open them up right there. No, they'll do it in the van yeah. around the alley. No, come on. Then dump the body. <laughs> They'll take Air Force One up into international airspace. <laughs> Drop them. So they can't Dump be prosecuted. Yes, yeah, so there's for no it. law. Jesus. Not, this, this procedure is illegal. Not up it's here. Only for Get the rid of the rich. body. And then they just eject the body into yeah. space. Sorry, Mr. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> little pod. Yeah. Just shoots into space <laughs> yeah, on the plane. Vacuum of space just goes. <laughs> This is an elaborate scenario. We've yeah, we've, with. yeah. I feel like we're gonna be. I, I feel. Visited. I now feel that our federal government could not pull it off because it is so elaborate. Yeah, yeah. They're like uh, that. Richard Santessa Trump tweet: Michael Wolf is a total loser who made up stories in order to sell his really bo- boring and untruthful book. He used sloppy Steve Bannon, who cried when he got fired and begged for his job. Now, Sloppy Steve has been dumped like a dog by almost everyone. Too what bad. The fuck. Yeah, that's why he's calling him Sloppy Steve now. He's yeah. now earned yeah. himself a cute little nickname. What the fuck? Like Crooked Hillary, Little Marco. Uh, was, um, little Marco, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Low Energy Jeb. It was, uh, what's his name? The fucking uh, documentarian, the guy from Flint. Yeah, I did Roger and me. Michael Moore. Michael Moore was like, uh, no, he can't. He can't have my nickname. Like he can, <laughs> you can call him Sloppy Seconds, but I'm the original Sloppy. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, I'm Sloppy Michael Moore. Sloppy. Uh, Mark Hamill responds to the president. Congratulations, sir. This dignified, statesman-like tweet is the perfect way to counter the book's narrative that you're an impulsive, childish dimwit. Wow, that's a good one. He's. He's right on. <laughs> the book says that he is not fit and out of control, and then he like tweets out a bunch of shit that's just like undignified. Yeah, since uh, all processors are now corrupt and hackable, as it turns out, everything, not just Welcome Intel. To the Microsoft Windows 95 Time to dust video off guide. the old Commodore. This unique yeah, program boot up your old you uh, copy of Windows 95. This will help you out. Of the new Windows 95 operating system. 
our guide is separated into three sections. I think I've seen this. In section one, you'll get I've more than a few yeah. laughs as we present the world's first cyber sitcom, starring yeah. two of yep. Television's hottest comedy personalities. I'm a fan of vaporwave aesthetic and stuff. Matthew Perry. And this, this They'll be taking you on an adventure in computing. Yeah. They, they, yeah. the yeah, they just put music to it. Yeah, they put music to it, like vaporwave music. Along the way, music. we meet a wacky bunch of propeller heads and are introduced this is to the top a, a, educational video, a, tu a tutorial video. I'm going to teach you about Windows. And funny. But don't worry if you miss anything. In section two, we'll take you oh on boy. a step by step yeah, review of all the two. Windows yeah. 95 components it. demonstrated in section one. In just about I had, minutes, this was, you'll get a close up view I think of this how this is mentioned on the Judge John Hodgman podcast. And I was like, that can't be a and real we'll thing. Familiar with <laughs> speed, power, well, ease, you, and Google. compatibility of Windows 95. Finally, in our third section, Microsoft answers the Jesus. 20 most asked questions about the menu. Are you going to get to it? Yeah. So get like ready for a few is, uh, laughs and some great information. Oh, wait. Cool. Get ready for laughs. Wait. The world's first yeah. cyber for laughs. You've been instructed. Prepare so yourself. Whatever it is that you do to prepare to laugh. Pay for the band. Your son's getting my I daughter. personally do the Kegels. Who I might add. Ah, uh, Microsoft's fifth floor. Ladies' modems, children's <laughs> shareware, and our bridal peripheral salon. Wow. Task bars and email and shortcuts, oh my. Task, Task bars, bars and, and email and shortcuts, oh my. Yeah. Task bars and email and shortcuts, oh my. What? Task bars and email and shortcuts, oh my. It's the, it's the world's oh, first no, it's cyber. Windows 95. Okay, my, I'll comedy. get back to you, darling. What do they call it? Cyber sitcom. I heard that, yeah. and you Julio. are. Uh, Cybercom. Uh, this is Jennifer Anderson. I'm Matthew Perry. We're here to So this is how we got. Icon. It's a psychon. Well, that's what the kids video called video it. Video it. Video <laughs> what you're saying is this is how we got workaholics? Right now, honey, but I mean, do don't you remember watching office? cyber comedies Out. all the time? Psychon. But I mean, in his cyber absence, sitcom. he asked me, his loyal assistant, Bernice Keppelman, to act as host and give you a peek under the hood at Windows 95. I was very involved in the project, you know. You? I did a lot of shit. Well, you know, I kept asking the boss to uh, clean up his windows, you know, update, redecorate, cleaner views. He took my advice, of course, I was oh. talking about the windows in his office, and he was talking about the other windows. You know, the operating system with oh, tens boy. of millions of users. You were for Bill Gates? Shitty pun. <laughs> yeah, it's not that impressive, is it? No. Stop with the <laughs> clapping. Oh, we uh, thought it was customary maybe to clap when entering Mr. Gates' office. It was just turning oh, the lights on. right. Bill wow. Gates office. He had the oh, clapper in 95. Bill oh, couldn't man. make it. He sent the this Jew. Wasn't the Biggest clapper already old news? Like the clapper was the in the 80s. Of mythical, <coughs> mythical achievement. Right now. Right. My, friend, my friend <laughs> clapper had that. that. The clapper with the, soon, the old lady that like claps real quick and then falls over dead. Yeah. She's lazy. The clapper was, she hooked up her, uh, can you? Her heart regulator, a pacemaker, oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> this had to be like the first year of Friends, right? When so people didn't know who the fuck these people no, were. 95? They just hit off, man. They were they already a known, established hockey a couple years in. Oddly what year did they start? They started in 93 This doesn't or seem like... I meant for her to sit at the keyboard for a reason. Well, there's a thinner Windows Chandler. Windows 95 is goof-proof. We might have to mount a legal challenge, you know? <clears throat> Naturally, Bill's already installed Windows 95 and has booted yeah. up. Just We're just talking game, about him, like Bill. Right behind the screen. You know Bill. Any key. Mm -hmm. So I can basically so are they in Seattle? this thing and it would get started? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but don't. I would assume so. I mean, uh, if this is not a studio. Oh, I don't know why they would build his oh, office. No messy DOS builders. I think they would. What is this, a paper towel <laughs> commercial? So nobody would enter it. There are four things Friends you started in 94. It's easier, it's faster, it's more powerful. So, yeah, so this is probably when they were still... No, they were, no, they were just getting a little hot, bro. Yeah, Come they were on. just like, hey, they were these guys are on their TV show I saw that one this time. This is before yeah. they were getting a million dollars an yes. episode. Right. They are like, shit, we'll do a shit Don't Microsoft touch ad. You do, stay away from that button. Or oh. you'll go blind. Worse. Way worse. Now, getting back to the venue. It's the best I've seen since they closed Lindy's in New York. From the top, you've got programs, which, with a little drag on the mouse, a restaurant menu to a sub -menu the menu of Microsoft? Yes. Wow. Many of your programs. This replaces Program Manager in the old Windows. It's I always, way often better. feel like I'm ordering well, food when I load a Windows program. And then installed Windows 95. That's a good question, honey. 
Okay, and where is the button that instantly kills anybody that calls me honey? <laughs> <laughs> when you upgrade... Uh-oh. When oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. oh, they just ripped Seinfeld? Who ordered the Seinfeld baby? Yeah. yeah. That's why you're not... Well, that's easier than changing You can't hold a man. I mean, you know, you always leave something behind. Wow. Now, below that, like yeah. why are Sound like your third husband, and I heard that's about so that to explode. To file faster. Damn. It's almost like, you know, Rachel's not really funny in this skit. Can we just get some poppy bass underneath there to yeah. really drive it home since we don't have a laugh track? Hey, Larry David, do you have anything we can do? It's a fast way to find fire. Chandler's killing it. Yeah. Help is right there at your fingertips. Rachel. And run allows you to start up any program with a command. Finally, <laughs> shut down program. Burn. Easy and safe shutdown and restart. Okay, now let's load up the task no bar. No comedy. Show you what it does. Task bar? Is that anything like a Snickers bar? Does that have nougat? What is nougat? Does anybody know that? I See? saw that Mr. Oh, G there you go. his personal five year projection Seinfeld. in Excel you hear that? top yeah. selling yeah. sheet software in the document menu. What is the deal with nougat? nougat? No. I'm waiting for him to show up. Game genius. He's trying to break no, in. No, at, at this point, no. no. He's watching. What are you guys doing? Here? He was king of the world in 95, man. Yeah. Okay. So then it can be that's a Microsoft. That's a journey. Money. Now, let's use the new Max and money. New feature in the upper right side of the window to Money's still this green. Document. Yeah, and there's also an X. Well, the X will allow you to close. Yeah, I heard an interview document. with him today. We want to keep the plan file on the taskbar, so we just saying that Okay, click on the little number. Taskbar keeps the comedian's job is much harder than an actor's job. I'll show like, you. Now, just, let's you know, get into my computer. Here, read this. Your computer read your, okay, yeah. Yeah. Bill's and computer. say what we told you to say. <laughs> okay, before this becomes a classic and hideous vaudeville routine, let's move on. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the my computer, on who Google we're calling Windows 95, allows you to manage stuff no, on your computer no, like files like and folders. These two? Let's open it up. No. Now, click on the hard drive. Now, open the folder called Bill's Poetry Workshop. Oh, Jesus. Oh, let's open the word file called Ode to Christmas. Very good. No. Yeah, let's not. It just cocks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look at his browser history. Well, why don't we write something Horrible. Else? Let's make a copy we can work on. Jen, close Damn, it. Damn, that was bad. I named it this so no one would ever open it. Go back right. to the edit menu and drag it down to copy. Then paste. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm good. I yeah. tricked you. So, See, I'm good with this, too. That's the word Bill would use to describe the result of several hundred thousand man hours of R&D. All right, so how do we finish <laughs> Oh, a little guitar, a little blues I guitar. Got my guitar. Come on, let me, come on, let me, let me. Just something I'm kind of, uh, you know. I fuck with it. Fool. <laughs> Child porn immediately. What is that keyboard? Yeah. Like, what? No, yeah. what? No. Child porn. No, it's Matthew Perry. Oh, your browser history has been Microsoft saved, Mr. Perry. Yeah. <laughs> There's Matthew Perry. USB. All of a sudden, just <laughs> order some <laughs> prescription medication. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Not no, USB flash drive. I just don't have to do this. Remember, I said at a computer. Let's close that file. Oh. Oh, look at how easy that was. Wow, look at the easy use. icon, then click on the name. This allows you to rename the file. Let's rename it. <laughs> that shit's running 16 bit color right like there. It. I don't. There's something you will like. You know what it is? I know. Brown noser. That name is longer than 8.3 characters. Now, for a lot of people, this feature alone is worth the price of admission to Windows 95. No yep. more personal codes. Just name your files and folders any way you like. You know, <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. In college I couldn't and hence, file, file, <laughs> file systems oh became no folders. God. Just, uh, <laughs> uh, oh my god. <laughs> With Windows 95, you can use file names of up to 250 oh. characters. Now, do we really want to leave that phone for that? Bill? Yeah. Check Bill. out the big brain on bread. <laughs> <laughs> or Chandler. Okay, go ahead. Destroy my art, my vision. It's my vision. You're destroying it. Did I mention that it's my vision? Oh. Jesus. Relax. Calm down. Check out the recycle bin over there on the desk. Yeah. <laughs> See? It's there in the recycle bin. You He's stupid. Leave it there for future considerations. Oh, my Or God. you can immediately get it back by doing undo delete. Okay, so the recycle bin is like an enabler. Just fucking click on it. And undo is the way we were of computer. <laughs> undo? What? <laughs> <laughs> undo was the way we were as computers. Is that what she the was? Undo about? button is the way we were of TV shows. Oh, I mean of buttons. We are and now that is all red. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's an abrupt edit, an abrupt end of part one. Yes. Yeah.
If you like this show, please tell a friend. Please follow us on Twitter and like and share us on Facebook by searching for Christopher Media. You can subscribe to all ChristopherMedia.net shows for free on ChristopherMedia.net. Please make sure to rate and comment on all your favorite Christopher Media shows. Thank you in advance for supporting Christopher Media by clicking on the PayPal button and by clicking through to all the sponsors who support ChristopherMedia.net. Thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net. And thank you for listening. Thank you for visiting ChristopherMedia.net. Me, 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 but also you. The Pharaoh fast forwards his favorite foreign film. Hip, 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 powder donut. <clears throat> okay, what's my line? Uh, the only line I see here on the script is get options based on your budget with the name and price tool from Progressive. Oh man, that's a tongue twister, huh? I'm sorry, I'm gonna need a few more minutes. <clears throat> bulbous Walrus, the Bulbous Walrus. The Name Your Price Tool, only from Progressive. The owl ran afoul of the comatose Coxswain. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates price and coverage match limited by state law. Make room for a brand new year and a brand new room. Cozy up with HomeDepot.com for up to 30% off select mattresses and mattress essentials. From pillow top to plush, medium firm to memory foam. Waking up to a wonderful new mattress is the perfect way to make your new bed. And your new year. Up to 30% off select mattresses and mattress essentials. From HomeDepot.com. How doers get more done. Online only. Free delivery on select items $45 or more. Visit HomeDepot.com for more information.